Well, hi YouTube. Um, <clears throat> I've put the uh, the centre into the rocket stove now, so I've actually built it up. So uh, I'm going to have a look at it, see what you think, and um, and then on the next video I'm going to test it. Uh, it's not exactly gone the way I thought it would. Uh, I was rather hoping for a, a laser cut to the top in terms of tidiness, but um, just got a bit rushed and impatient, couldn't wait, so I tended to hack away at it a bit, um, but it's, it's not too bad, so I'm hoping it will uh, suffice. That at the end of the day, it's down to, you know, will it do the job, will it do it well? Um, that remains to be seen. We'll, we'll find out when we test it. So anyway, uh, without further ado, I'll, I'll show you what I've done. <clears throat> okay, so this is the, uh, I've actually used the, the shelf from my previous rocket stove. Uh, just because I hadn't got another one, I was gonna make, would you, would you mind uh, a smidge coming out of the way? I know you wanna move. On, on the camera um, <clears throat> yeah I'll, I'm going to use a different uh, shelf for that made specially for it but I've, I hadn't got one to the size so I decided to use one off my other rocket stove and uh, as luck has it it pretty much fits perfectly in the the, uh, the feed tube anyway so pleased about that haven't done the switch yet but uh, that's going to be another stage later on uh, I, I haven't forgotten it, I will get round to it, uh, but at the moment the main thing was, was to build it all up, get it get it going, give it a, a test run, and uh, this is it. So this is the, the top now, <coughs> here. Uh, I've also, I mean, if you can see that, I managed to uh, build my combustion chamber in the bottom. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. My my gas turbulizer, as I call it. <laughs> um, so we'll see how it has the effect on this one. You can see on the top, what I've done is I was going to put clips around the side of this thing. Uh, that was the idea, and I was going to leave this protruding a small amount so that I could slide this, lip, this top on and off. And I got to thinking, uh, why do I need to do that? Do I really need to take it apart? Well, no, not really. Um, push comes to shove, I'll make another one. So I thought, well, okay, so I think it's going to be very secure with that anyway. Uh, I don't need now to put any lips and catches over here, which leaves that nice and tidy around the top. And um, and that's the, the finish. I've had to fold and batter and file that so that it just holds all this nicely in place. Um, as I say, the, the the edges there are rougher than I would have liked. I would have got that actually, you know, pristine, smooth, which is what I wanted to do. But unfortunately, uh, time got the better of me and uh, so did my patience. So I hacked away at it a bit and ended up with a, a real bit of a rough cut there, but it, uh, as long as it's going to do the job. This, I've, I've actually pushed downwards a little bit, so it's got a little bit of uh, concave effect to the top of the lid there. I'd rather have that than the other way around. And, uh, and this again is off my small rocket stove, but that fits on there fine. So for the time being, that will suffice for holding pots and pans and things and um, well all that remains to be seen now is uh, a trial run so anyway that's it hope you hope you like it um, you can see that sticks out not too far so it's quite nice and compact um, although it's a, a decent size to stand by and uh, or to sit by for that matter it's got a decent height to it. Um, okay, well, that's it for now. And uh, as soon as I get a moment, I'll put the uh, 
get the thing going and I'll show you that as well. So stay tuned and uh, back as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.